Let's talk about research databases. Georgia State University Library's collection of research databases can connect you with high-quality information sources, including articles from scholarly journals, magazines, and newspapers, as well as electronic books, streaming videos, and many other types of information sources. Many of the information sources found in research databases are not available on the open web, so you cannot get to them from search engines like Google. There are two easy ways to get to Georgia State University Library's research databases. The first way is to start on the library homepage at library.gsu.edu and use the Discover widget. When you use any of these links off campus, you will be prompted for your GSU username and password in order to access the database content. The second way to access Georgia State University Library's research databases is to log into iCollege, then click on the Galileo link at the top of the home page. This will take you to the Galileo home page. Both the GSU Library homepage and the Galileo homepage have the same basic options for exploring databases. The Discover Search tool, Databases by Subject, Databases A through Z, and a link to search for journals by the name of the journal. Let me demonstrate the way each of these works. First, let's try the Discover Search tool. The Discover Search tool searches many, but not all, of Georgia State University's research databases, plus materials physically located at all GSU campus libraries. To use the Discover Search, just type in your search terms. Here are my results. Let's look at this page. I have over 800,000 results. I can scan through the results to see if I'm on the right track. If your results need to be more specific, add search terms. Now that our results appear to be on topic, let's look at these limiters on the left. Limiting to full text means all of your results will be available for you to read on your computer immediately. Other options include scholarly and peer-reviewed journals and the date. Always consider whether the date is important. We can also limit our results by type of resource. You can tell the type of resource by these icons. Show More gives you all the options. You can see other limiters down here. When you go to the Advanced Search, you have more options for limiting your search. One option is to limit by academic discipline. This is another way to get items most relevant for your search. You can also use the Advanced Search to create more complex searches. You can get more results by putting one concept on each line, then connecting similar terms with OR. Now let's look more closely at the results. I'm going to look at this one, When Reading Gets Rough, Canine Assisted Reading Programs. That's the title of the article. Here I can see the author's names, the academic journal that published the article, the date of publication, the page numbers, and the number of pages in the article. Following this information, you will see a list of subjects. To see more about the article, click on the title. Again, we see publication information about the article, then we have an abstract. An abstract is a summary of the article. This article comes in both HTML and PDF formats, but most articles only have one format. To get to the HTML, just scroll down. Let's click to open the PDF. The PDF format is an electronic version of the article exactly as it appeared in print, including charts, graphs, pictures, etc. Back on the previous page, there are some tools on the right. You can print, email, or save the article to a file. The Citation Helper and Export features give you computer-generated citations in various styles. Always double-check for accuracy and formatting when using these features. That is the gist of how to use the Discover tool, but there are times you may not want to use the Discover tool. Why? Reasons include the Discover tool doesn't include all of our databases. Individual databases may give you specialized search limiters that are not included in the Discover search. And using specific databases instead of the Discover Search can help you control the type of information you find. Some databases only contain information on certain subjects, limit to certain formats, or contain information oriented to subject experts or non-professionals. How do you know which databases fit your topic? 
Back on the library homepage, click on Databases by Subject and pick your subject. Once you've identified the database you want, just click on the title to go to the database. Now let's say you know the name of the database you want. We frequently recommend opposing viewpoints for freshmen working on papers and speeches on controversial and current topics. So we will go to Databases by Name, A to Z, and click on O, the first letter of opposing viewpoints. Then you can go to the database from here. The last type of search I want to show you is the Journals search. Use this tab when you know the name of the journal you want to use. Search for words in the journal title, not search terms for your topic. For example, I want to look for an article about the cost of textbooks in the Chronicle of Higher Education. In the search box, put Chronicle of Higher Education. Click eJournals only and go to find the databases that include that journal and which dates are included. I choose this one and land on this page. From here, I can look at the articles by issue or I can search within the publication. And those are the basics of how to use Georgia State University's research databases. For more help, contact a librarian or look for a research guide on your subject. To contact a librarian, you can come to the library in person, call, or chat with a librarian in real time using our virtual reference service right on the library homepage. For after hours help, email us from this box or search for an answer in our FAQs. Thanks for watching and happy researching!